Hi, I'm Bill Myers, and this is my video tip of the week. I was recently asked how to put a black bar on the bottom of the video track so that you can overlay text and subtitles. It's pretty easy to do, and I'm going to show you how to do that. First thing you do is have your video up on the timeline and make sure that you've got two video tracks above it. And on the video track above it, we're going to go down and select Media Generators here. And on Media Generators, we have a number that we can choose from, but we're going to choose Solid Color. We're going to choose the black, and we're going to drag it right there. And the person who asked me this, they ask if they could have it for the full length of the track. So we're just going to drag it for the full length of the video track. Now if I put my mouse on the video, you notice that the video is black down here. We're going to resolve that quickly and we're also going to size this background so it gives us a nice black background to put subtitles on. And the way we're going to do that is use Pan and Crop. We select Event Pan and Crop. And on the Pan and Crop window, we make sure that we have turned off Lock Aspect Ratio. And we make sure we've turned off Size About Center. And then we come down to here where it says Source and it says maintain aspect ratio we select that to be no stretch to fill we select that to be no and then as we watch our window here we change the size using pan and crop and you notice that in the right size we're now getting the black background and if that's what we want if that's the size we want all we have to do now is close that window and we have the black background now you may not want it that black you may want it so it's, you can see through it or you may want it so it's a different color and again we can do that by going to generated media that's the generated media that we just created we can use the slider bar here to control the uh, transparency and as we drag that down our black over here becomes totally transparent and if we move it up a little bit our black background becomes less transparent. Now you may not want that color to be black, you may want it to be a color that's in your video. So if you wanted it to be this blue sky blue, we could click the eyedropper, select the blue sky from our video clip and now it's blue. And then we could drag our transparency down so that it's just barely visible. And then we could put our text and titles above that. It's that easy to do using the media generator. Again, all we did was we put it on a video track above our main video track we selected the color we wanted, we drug it out to the full length we wanted, and we changed the transparency level. Now the reason we want a video track above it is so that if we put text up there, it'll show through. Now if we want to put a subtitle, we go to our top video track, and it doesn't have to say text, but we want that top video track to be where we put all our text. We right click, we select insert text media, we type in the text that we want, we change the text properties to what we want, and I've saved a preset called subtitles and that puts the subtitle down here where I want it and then type in whatever text you want. It's that easy to do. Now I know this is a simple tip but sometimes people have trouble finding out how to do the simple things so I want to show those things too. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com or on my video 101 Tips and Tricks for Sony Movie Studio which is available at Amazon as well as my website.